In 2015, I made a promise to God that as a leader of our household that I was going to lead our family in the best way that I knew how. And that was going to church and setting the example for what I wanted our family to, to have and to do. When we walked in, everyone was so warm and so welcoming and it just did not feel like we didn't belong there at that point. It just felt like home. What's different since we've been coming back to church is pretty much every aspect of, of our life. For whatever reason, and it kind of came up, what are kind of some steps in my faith? Or, or what, is it, what is it that I'm not doing um, that I could be doing? And so tithing was one of those things. Jen had preached a sermon on um, the one area that you could test God is in finance. We had bought a new car because we were having our third kid, and uh, I still had another car plus her car. Uh, and I was, I'd been doing some research on tithing and Jen's sermon, and I was like, God, how do we get the 10%? And we had talked about getting rid of that car for months, and I, I, had, I had bought and sold cars a ton in my life, easily, and uh, just for whatever reason, and I just, this one just wasn't going. So I was like, I'll tell you what, God, if I can get rid of this car, and you can do that, I'll give it all to the church. Uh, the next weekend, our friends were coming down, and uh, we were just sitting out in the backyard, and my friend was like, what are you doing with that car in there? And I was just like, I was like, well, I'm trying to get rid of it. He's like, I think I'm gonna drive it home. I was like, are you serious? And uh, he's like, yeah, I wanna buy the car. And I said, okay. Um, so he literally drove the car home that weekend and it was gone. That opened up the door for us to do exactly what I asked him to do, which was give me a way to give. That was a deciding moment in, wow, this, he doesn't play around. God has done a lot of things in our life. In the last year, we decided that we were going to sell our house and <laughs> get something bigger um, to accommodate our growing family. So we listed the house for the price that we wanted. Um, it was on the market for two days, had two showings, and had two offers for full asking price for the house. And ultimately able to walk away with the money that we needed to put down for a new house so we thought we were going to build, um, had picked out a plan, moved to, had all the fancy upgrades and everything that we wanted in our house, the newest of the new, the best of the best, but it also came with a really hefty price tag. One that we were willing to work on, one that we were willing to, you know, stretch where we could. I was probably going to have to go back to work, which is something that I didn't really want to do since the kids are still so small, but I was willing to do that to get what I thought we wanted. Jen had her sermon on finances and on her very last one, we were driving home from church and you know, I was just thinking about that house and I looked over at Garrett and I said, you know, why are we doing this? Why are we building this immaculate house? Like, are we doing it for God or are we doing it for us? The funny thing about that was, is I was feeling the same way, I just hadn't said it yet. Um, and one of the things that Jen had said that that sermon was putting your money behind what matters was the theme that I took away. That was a lot of money we were spending. Um, and did it matter was the question. And I think I decided, we decided, um, we're not sure that's what matters now. Maybe it did at one point in time. But what matters now is this church. What matters now is our ability to be an example to our kids. You know, it, it just warms my heart when, when they start singing the songs that they sing in Ashley Ridge. And one of the things that my four-year-old always kind of says, if he gets in trouble and he gets his feelings hurt, he always comes up to me, he's like, oh, mom, do you still love me? And I just always say, you know what? There's nothing that you could ever do that would ever make me stop loving you. And I said, do you know who else loves you like that? And he's like, I do, it's God. I learned that in church. I was like, oh my gosh, we are doing the right thing. This is it. This is where we're supposed to be. This is how I want our family to be. If you look at how many people we've welcomed and all the great things that happen in a borrowed space, um, how much more could we do with a space that we built as a community, as, as a people, as, as Jesus' people? A home is a tool. And it's a, it's a powerful tool, and it's a tool that um, when you're doing the right thing and when you're, you've got the right thing in your mind and in your heart, which is 
you know, telling everybody about what Jesus is and does, it's a great opportunity to continue to spread the message. We're putting our money, our faith, our life behind what matters.